Hey y'all, uh, I'm going to be looking at uh, the Cinnamon Desktop version 2 that uh, has been recently released and this is on Arch Linux and some of my observations uh, so far. Um, overall uh, it's fairly responsive. I ran into a few uh, issues. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what it is. Um, notably to get those uh, out of the way is when you go to your uh, quit menu or session and you want to when I restart sometimes uh, it seems like every third boot uh, the whole system will hang and I have to force it to reboot um, and in the uh, cinnamon system settings if I some things especially like uh, universal access and keyboard shortcuts sometimes it will freeze up the whole system I don't know why like if you modify something you just click one button uh, I have to force it to reboot I haven't really tried out too many different themes uh, just this one here um, elementary OS theme and default ones here and you click apply theme and you go back and as far as extensions, I tried this. It says it's on, but if I hit configure, nothing happens. So I guess this isn't ready. I didn't really, I should have paid more attention. But you get more online, so go to more information. Yeah, see, this is released back in uh, May of this year, so it might not be updated yet. Uh, the menu, I just uh, grabbed an image off the internet and Arch Linux logo. You can customize the menu. Or menu settings. Um, I like this here enable file system path entry in search box. So you know what that is, of course. Press the uh, win key, super key, and type like USR slash share, etc. You can arrow key up and down, and it will open in there. Now I'm not sure if you can do a search through through for system files. Um, the way I have it set up right now, but it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, the, uh, the corner I just left has the same. Uh, let's open a few applications, and you can do like an overview. And I did take a, a system D analyze uh, open with uh, Chromium. There we go. And right here it says 8.9. I've seen it about 8.5, so that's pretty quick. And I am using a, a solid state drive on this, and uh, so far it's been fine. The longest is the uh, network startup time, usually for me. Other than that, as a usable desktop, this is very, very nice. And the fact that it has Nemo, <laughs> I mean, that's such a neat, uh, this is such a neat file manager to work with. You have your F3 toggle uh, views on and off. You can set the the GV uh, what was that? The file system GVFS or something to not prompt you for a password when you want to open uh, an external hard drive. Not external. I'm sorry. Another hard drive, say a Windows drive, and it comes up with a little removable drive, and you can click on it and just click to unmount. So. And Nemo, you know, it's got all its uh, great stuff in here under preferences. Lots of different things you can uh, go through. Um, and yes, it uh, will preserve uh, your folder views. So in pictures, I made it larger. And there's the Arch Linux logo I downloaded. And I just uh, look at uh, Cinnamon. In Arch Linux, and oh yeah, my Conky script is working okay, uh, no issues. And let's see a terminal. Yeah, I can get the sensors of the uh, ambient and core. It's up a little bit because I'm recording, but I've seen that the core goes down about 25, 23, because uh, I have like a system cooler. So other than that. Uh, I think it's it's a nice uh, a nice uh, desktop to work with for anybody, and uh, I'm gonna 
leave this for a while because I'm not sure like some of the issues I'm having uh, I'm not sure if I'll stick with this but I do like this and eventually come back to it all right so that's it for this one and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you soon and bye for now